Hi, and welcome to Fun Facts with Jax. I'm Jax. Today, let's talk about a prolific film director you may have never heard of. He's been directing movies since 1968, and over 100 films and TV shows bear his name, including an edited cut of Dune. Not the epic masterpiece playing in theaters right now, but rather an edited version of the 1984 disaster. Like Dune, most, if not all of his works have been box office failures, and yet he continued directing. How did this terrible director manage to get so much work? For that, let's go back to the beginning with Death of a Gunfighter, released in 1969. Robert Totten was the original director, but the movie star Richard Widmark was displeased with Totten's work and had him replaced with Don Siegel. The final cut of the movie was a Frankenstein patchwork from both Totten and Siegel, and neither director wanted to take credit for the movie. The Directors Guild of America agreed with both men that the movie didn't represent either of their visions. The DGA, for the first time, allowed a movie to be credited under a pseudonym. Al Smith was originally going to be credited, but it was decided that was too common a name. Enter Alan Smithy. Since then, any time a director felt they had lost creative control over a movie or TV show, Alan Smithy would get the credit. While the DGA officially retired the name in the late 90s, Alan Smithy's work can still be found in many media productions. Whether you will want to watch his work is a completely different matter. And that's your fun fact for today. Stay tuned for more Fun Facts with Jacks.